Okay, so it looks like every time I try to get back into my routine of uploading my regular content, the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 lineup always just pulls me right back in. So today we have some leaks, some, you know, pieces of information that dropped today that are pretty legit and actually cementing what we should be expecting of these tablets. And I wanna share that with you. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, I know that quite a few of you are stuck into that kind of conundrum whether to pick up the current Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 or wait for the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, which is just a couple, a couple, maybe a few months away, hopefully. But you know what? Why don't we just start this? Let's start simple. Let's take a look at the renders of what that Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 would look like to help you make that decision right now. And as you can see here, these are the first renders of the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, and it looks so awfully familiar. Why it looks super familiar? Simply because it, it looks just like this, right? Slight changes that we can talk about, right? Especially the stripe that we have on the back there, we have that glossy stripe on this one. This is the Tab S7 Plus, by the way. So we have that stripe there, but it looks like on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, it's gonna be interrupted, right? So you're still gonna have that glossy stripe and it's gonna be interrupted in between the stripe itself, or I call it the S Pen pad, because that's pretty much where, you know, that's the one thing that houses the S Pen, right? You can also attach your S Pen to the side, but you can, that's where you have your S Pen. So it's gonna be interrupted right in between the camera module and the pad itself. So that's one difference. Other than that, everything else that you look at, as I'm continuing to show you more pictures or more of the renders here, and of course, look at the sources, right? This is all coming from Mr. McFly himself. You know, Steve, you know he's pretty legit in terms of dropping this type of stuff. And he's done a really good job at being consistent in the past. You know, we've gotten quite a few leaks, even just the recent, which one was it? The Galaxy Tab S, Tab A, Tab S7 FE and prior to that, the A7 Lite, all of that, you know, he he had everything correctly. So as you look at these renders, I want you to put in your brain that this is as close as we are going to get to the actual real thing, you know, when it's announced by Samsung. So you have the antennas. So if you look at the renders and you look at this guy here, you're gonna see the antenna lines there, pretty much the same stuff. And I think I've talked, not I think, I'm pretty sure I've talked about it, which is one of the main reasons I was telling people, if you need a tablet right now, and this was like months ago, and I was like, if you need a tablet right now, go buy the Galaxy Tab S7 because it's not gonna be that different. And the current Tab S7 is so powerful that there isn't really something, unless you're waiting for the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, there isn't, there isn't really anything major that I see on the Tab S8 or the Tab S8 Plus for you to wait that long. Now, that being said, I'm not saying that the Galaxy Tab S8 is the same as the Galaxy Tab S7. What I'm saying is that, you know, the changes are gonna be fairly marginal. You know, even, well, we can talk about that in just a moment. But anyway, so, so far based off of those leaks, it looks like everything else around is gonna be the same, right? USB Type-C, we are likely to get quad speakers, you know, the, the quad speaker setup that we have here. So essentially gonna be this guy, except that little stripe here is gonna be interrupted right between the stripe and the camera module. And we are also going to get the Samsung logo, just like you see on the renders there. Now, one thing that's new, which is exciting, is that the regular Galaxy Tab S8 is going to be pushing an IPS display as opposed to a TFT. Here's where things start going a little bit downhill. You know, as of the leaks from a month ago or so, we were all expecting the Snapdragon, the platform to be a Snapdragon 895 or 898 for the regular Tab S8 and also the Tab S8 Plus, and of course expecting the Exynos 2200 with AMD graphics for the Ultra, for the S8 Ultra. As of this leak from today, apparently the Snapdragon 888 that we've talked about month, like six months ago when we first started, maybe eight months ago when we first started talking about the, the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, apparently the Snapdragon 888 is what's gonna be loaded in this tablet. What is going on? I, I don't know that that's true, but I really don't want it to be true. I really do not want it to be true. Now, if it is true, then what it tells us is that, you know, obviously, that happened messed up things in a way where, you know, it messed up production, messed up pretty much everything and delayed and shifted everything into, maybe not everything, shifted a lot of things into next year. And what I mean by this is that maybe the plan had been to put in a Snapdragon 888 
and release the tablet in August of this year, like they usually do. In which case it would have been super relevant because at the time it would have been, you know, the most powerful Android chipset on a tablet out there or on a device out there, right? But instead, because everything is being shifted into next year, that tells us that maybe Samsung didn't have time, you know, enough time to go ahead and implement a newer chip or a higher grade chip into these tablets. And they were just like, you know what, forget it. We're just gonna stick with the original one, even though it's gonna be next year. And I don't know how that's gonna play out because next year you're gonna have more tablets coming out with better chips, right? I mean, look at what Xiaomi is doing. I mean, the Mi Pad 5 Pro that I have here is a Snapdragon, is it 870? Sometimes I forget, 897, no, no, 870, right? Yeah, so I'd be somewhat disappointed if they're dropping a Galaxy Tab S8 next year that is loaded with a Snapdragon 888. Ugh, I can't talk, but it looks like that's the way things are, you know, things are leaning that way. On the other hand, Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is supposed to keep its Exynos 2200 with AMD graphics. And of course it's gonna be only released in some places. Just like I mentioned in my last video, it may be tough to get your hands on one. I'm gonna to try to get one, but either way, my take is that if you need a tablet right now, you know, keyword, if you need one, don't just go through the struggle of not having a tablet because you're just waiting for the Galaxy Tab S8. Go ahead and just get yourself the Galaxy Tab S7. It is plenty powerful. In fact, I've seen comments from people saying, should I wait for the Tab S8 to drop, then go ahead and buy that? If you can wait, you know, obviously, then the price is gonna drop even more at the time, at least that's the hope, and you can get that at an even cheaper price. But if you need a tablet right now, just buy the Tab S7, it's, it's a powerful tablet. So if you don't really need a tablet right now, let's say you have one already, or you don't, you use your laptop, or whatever the case may be, and you just wanna get the next brand new tablet, then just go ahead and wait for the Galaxy Tab S8. That's gonna be a better deal for you because you're gonna be getting something with a newer chipset. Now, other than that, you pretty much have the same stuff that we've talked about, right? So you have eight gigs of RAM, and I'm talking about, of course, about the Galaxy Tab S8 and the S8 Plus. In terms of the base model, we start off with eight gigs of RAM, of course. It's likely gonna be coming out with Android 12 loaded in there. And as far as the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, per the leaks, it's supposed to look just like the Galaxy Tab S8. So it makes me wonder about that notch I don't know. I know quite a few of you hate the notch. It's not a deal breaker, you know, to me. Either way, they're saying that it's supposed to look like the regular Tab S8. I don't know what that means. You know, that was a very abstract part of the leak. So I'm assuming just kind of like a jumbo version of the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus anyway, but we'll, we'll get to see that when it drops. Now, in terms of the release date, Samsung obviously is gonna have an event. And the hope is that they're gonna have an event at the end of the year, like pre-holidays, and that's gonna be to prep for things that they're gonna release in January. So the hope is that they do drop also the announcement for the Galaxy Tab S8. So it's gonna be very interesting. But anyway, just to recap, so what did we get today? We got some renders, we are looking at it, and we can see that it looks almost the same, except from some very slight changes, right? Just that back part. Everything else is set to remain the same as the stuff that I've covered already in the past. So make sure to check out those videos if you need to get additional information. Certainly hoping that you found this informative. As soon as there's something else coming up, I'll go ahead and drop another video on it. Don't forget to like the video, share of course. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. And up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.